The Jibbo Open, a championship unlike any other. This year features the New York Yankees against the Houston Astros. The Houston Astros have Jose Altuve and a special supercomputer named Clanky. Your team, the New York Yankees, are made up of the worst possible kids in all of backyard baseball history. Many competitors found out the secret to defeating Jose Altuve. He has coronavirus, and if he throws too many special pitches, he'll get tired and unable to run. Let's take a look at the standings. Hey, fourth place. Jibbo, that's me. Heh, <laughs> not so bad. I won 8-4 against the Astros. In third place was Ace Knot, who won 13-1, giving him a plus 12. In second place is Keys, who scored uh, 27 runs but gave up 14. Ouch. Well, that's a lot of runs against. He ended up plus 13. The grand champion was P. Sanchez who had 27 runs for and 4 against, giving him a total of plus 23. After the tournament, Keyes said that it was an absolute nightmare facing Chipper Jones and Cliff Floyd. I also asked him if he'd rather be Quentin Driver or a person made completely out of garbage, and he said that I think if I were completely made of garbage, I'd at least have some neat garbage-related superpowers. There is nothing redeemable about Quentin Driver. He exists only to suffer. Ace not mentioned in a post-game interview that he heard some banging noises right before Altuve hit a home run. After the victory, P. Sanchez was asked how he overcame Altuve and Clanky. He responded that the AI of Clanky was too easy to manipulate, and Jose Altuve tried to cheat one too many times. Who knew that a special pitch would spell disaster for the greatest baseball team ever assembled? I also asked him his stance on robots having human rights. He said all men are created equal and are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. I don't see any mention of robots there. Good luck explaining all of that to those robots on Twitter, P. Sanchez. Now I know some people played and didn't submit their scores out of embarrassment. You couldn't possibly be any more embarrassed than I am who created a tournament for a video game designed for children almost 20 years ago. And that's it for this year's Jibbo Open. If you'd like to learn more about Backyard Baseball, hacking, manipulating, and so forth, you can go to the Backyard Baseball subreddit or the Discord channel. You can also listen to the Tin Can Alley podcast, which is a great podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. They talk about their own Backyard Baseball season as well as other things going on in the Backyard Baseball world. Season 5 of the Backyard Baseball League is starting soon, so be on the lookout for more things about Backyard Baseball. I hope to see you next year at the Jibbo Open, and get the hell out of my backyard!